right, all right, all right. We're gonna catch the tuna. What's up everybody, Jared here with just a bananas movie review. So I went out and got to check out the new like mystery thriller film, Serenity. So Serenity follows like Matthew McConaughey and he's like this drunk, down on his luck fisherman. Then some people from his past, his ex-wife or something shows up, wants him to take care of her husband. And then there's a few other twists and turns. So is Serenity just completely bonkers? Let's find out. Now before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Serenity in the comments down below. Was this movie one of the craziest, most fun times you've had to the theater? Or was, like I said, was this completely bonkers? Now let's get into some of the good. Starting off, I will say kind of the intrigue that this movie had. Like this movie, I love a good mystery, I love a good thriller. I, I, I love going into a movie really having no clue what was going on. And throughout Serenity, that's really how you feel. I mean, they're giving you kind of little breadcrumbs they're introducing people there's like these little hints there's there's just little things every now and then that you're like what is that why do they keep focusing on that why is that camera angle who is this person so throughout serenity you are pretty much in this movie because you're guessing you're trying to figure stuff out it really reminded me of another film uh this i mean like 2006 i think identity if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But yeah, that movie really kept me guessing. And again, this movie really keeps you guessing throughout most of the movie. And adding on to that intrigue of this movie was Matthew McConaughey. His performance was fairly good. I mean, it wasn't, not too much was asked from him. Basically, be this drunk guy going through this movie, not really knowing what's going on, trying to piece stuff together. And, you know, he turns in a solid performance. You know, he, he kind of, you know, does the, all right, all right, all right, I'm going to be here on a fish. I'm gonna be fishing like Lincoln commercial type thing again this movie doesn't ask too much but he fits the role he has pretty good chemistry with some of the other people he's obviously the main character um, Anne Hathaway we'll get into that stuff later but yeah I thought that he turned in a solid performance here however aside from the complete intrigue and Matthew McConaughey this movie was like I said, this movie was completely bananas, bonkers, bat crazy. Like, you know, oh, the intrigue was great. The first two thirds were great. But once we get a certain reveal, the last third, the last final act starts playing out, the movie completely lost me. I'm like, this this is what you wrote for this movie. This is how this movie is going to go. It, it It's like someone, the writers, had one day to finish this script. They called up a buddy and they're like, hey, can we copy your homework? Like, we, that we have a pop quiz tomorrow. We need to copy your homework. And they just took a script from a completely different movie, tacked it onto this one, and then boom. That's Serenity. That's what they handed in. That's what they filmed. I want to get into spoilers so bad, but I'm I'm not going to do that here. I might do just a one-off video explaining this movie in depth because this is crazy. But yes, there's a reveal that will probably ruin this whole thing for you. And then again, like I said, the, Matthew McConaughey was all right, but the other supporting cast, Anne Hathaway... I mean, she's probably the next big actress in this movie or build actress... She doesn't even turn that in. She's just there. She's there to get a paycheck. She overacts sometimes, and there's a lot of weird tone shifts with her character and Matthew McConaughey. Um, Jason Clark, he's also in this, and he's just, you know them, hey, Spider-Man! That's what he does kind of this whole time, like, in the movie. He's like, hey, we're going to go out on this boat, and we're going to catch some tuna. We're going to go catch some tuna. Like, he's not good in this movie, so... Again, the acting just was not there. I mean, this movie coming out in January, that's where everyone kind of dumps movies. That's what it's notorious for. So yeah, the performance was overall not great. It's so weird because this movie, this I'm going to say that this movie is maybe the best worst movie I've seen in a long time. Like, it's not really that great, 
but it's like so intriguing. You're in on it, and I'm just like, wow. Overall, Serenity is completely bonkers and completely falls apart with a lot of mystery and intrigue, and like you are in on this movie along with Matthew McConaughey's performance, but with the script and writing and stuff at the end that just seems like it's completely tacked on, along with some just not great performances and this odd tone, I would more than likely skip out on Serenity, but if you want to find out what makes this movie so bad bananas, go in for it. You're, you're not going to have that great of time, but it's crazy. In closing, I'm going to give Serenity 1.3 out of 5 what the f so what did you guys think of Serenity? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Follow all of my social media stuff down there. There's more videos over there. Subscribe down to my channel if you haven't. And until next time, I'll see you later. Let's go catch some tuna. All right. All right, all right, all right.